what we can do is we can reverse the direction of our coordinates so that we have positive distances along the transmission line from the load towards the generator. To accomplish this, we will use the d-axis shown here when solving sinusoidal steady state problems. For time domain problems, we'll still use the z-axis with the origin at the generator. As we've defined the d-axis here, d is equal to minus z, helping us to get rid of that extra minus sign. Using this new coordinate system, let's start by considering a very simple scenario. Say we have a transmission line with a matched load. The source generates voltage and current waves that travel towards this load. When they reach the load, will we get any reflections from the load? No, our reflection coefficient is zero, and the load is matched, and so we will not get any reflections. We will only have one voltage wave traveling towards the load. Under these conditions, spend a minute coming up with an expression for the voltage along the transmission line shown here as a function of both space and time. That is, we want to know what is V as a function of D and T. Don't worry about the exact amplitude of the voltage wave since we haven't given any values for VG and ZG. However, do take into account that the generator is a sinusoid 